In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use the Tiled Clones feature in Inkscape to take a single object and make it descend in size around a spiraling path, as you can see that I've done in these examples here. Before we get started, though, be sure to join my mailing list to receive over 200 free vector design templates, including logos, icons, avatars, textures, and so much more. As a subscriber, you'll be the first to receive the free templates that I send out each month. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. And now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So I'm going to delete these original objects off of my canvas, and we'll be good to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the object that I'd like to apply this effect to. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a regular polygon. So I'll grab the Stars and Polygons tool. I'm going to use a regular polygon shape with six corners. And then I'll just hold Control and click and drag to create a polygon like that. And let me grab my Selection tool. I want to make sure I have the fill color set to black. And then over here in the Stroke Paint tab, I want to make sure that there's no stroke applied. So I'm going to click on this X right here. By default, it'll apply. Sometimes it'll apply this question mark here, which is no stroke. We want to choose this one instead. And then I'm going to hold Control and Shift and scale that down a little bit. And then I'm going to click on this object again to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to take this little crosshair in the middle and click and drag this down while holding the control key. I'll bring that down to about there. That represents the rotation center of the object. So as the object is rotated, it's going to rotate around that point. And with the object selected, I'll open the Tiled Clones menu by going to Edit and selecting Clone and choosing Create Tiled Clones. Once you have this menu open, it's important that you come over here and click on the reset button because the way this menu works is that the settings that you used previously will be remembered. So if you ever use this function in the past, you'll want to clear these out first. So click on reset. And then once you do that, make sure you have simple translation chosen, which I believe is the default. And then choose rows and columns and set this to one by 100. So go ahead and type that in. And then come over here to the Shift tab. Make sure you have this box enabled right here that says Exclude Tile, but only for the column. And then come over here to Scale. We're going to scale the X and the Y by 20% per column. And then we'll come over here to Rotation, and we're going to rotate the per column by 15 degrees. And once you have that set, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to click the Create button. Well, I may have to make sure I have the object selected. I'm going to click the Create button. And it's going to create the object around that spiraling path. And it's going to increase in size as it does that. Now, if you end up with this sort of result right here, where it looks like the objects are too close together, you can press Control Z to undo that. And what we could do is click on the object to get the rotation center again, and then hold Control and bring this down a little further, that rotation center. And then click Create again. And that should give you a little bit of a better result. So that right there looks a lot better. And if you want, you can play around with these values a little bit to see what you can create. So let me undo that again. Let's say you want to use a lower value, like let's say 5 degrees instead of 15. If you do that, you get objects that are a lot closer together. So you end up with that sort of result right there. Or you can use an even greater value, like 20 degrees. And then you end up with something like that. But I'm just going to set this back to 15 and click Create. And that's what we end up with. So let me close out of this menu now. And what you can do is you can select the original object. Make sure when you click on the original object, you hold your Alt key and then click on it again, because the original object is beneath a clone of the original object. And once you have that selected, hold Control and Shift and scale the object down a little bit. And then it'll scale the rest of them down as well. Now, what you'll want to do is let me press Control Z to undo that. Let me raise that object to the top and click on it again to get the rotation handle. And what you'll want to do is put that rotation, that rotation center back in the middle of the object by holding Shift and clicking it. And now it's back in the center. And now you can scale it down from the center by holding Control and Shift and clicking and dragging. And now the rest of these scale down as well. And that works in reverse as well. You can scale these up or you can scale them down. Let me scale that down a little more. And you get the idea. So that is how you can use Inkscape to create these descending spirals with the Tiled Clones menu. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. 
We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.